It's time for the Crypt Keeper's Fashion Boutique. Today we're featuring my full line of Après V death care products. We've got everything from face scream to mascara. Try some. It's the best thing you can do for them eyes. <laughs> Or maybe I could interest you in tonight's special. It's a tasteless tidbit about a traveling cemetery plot salesman who's about to make a grave mistake. I call it Death of Some Salesman. Eb Jones, come on down. I'm going with you, isn't that what we said? Well, there's been a little change of plans. Damn you. Oh, spare me the tears, okay, sweetheart? But you said you loved me. <laughs> yes, yes. I said I loved you, and you dropped your little panties. It's called salesmanship. You must be Mrs. Jones. Uh, yes, I am. I'm Judd Campbell from the Restful Hills Memorial Park. You know you are exactly the way your husband said you are. Is he here? Oh, well, no. Uh, he passed on a few days ago. The funeral was yesterday. I can't believe it. I, just last Monday I saw him. It's like he saw it coming. He did. He had cancer. Well, I know that, but Monday he puts a down payment on a new cemetery plot. And then suddenly... D did you say he put a down payment on a cemetery plot? $250 for both you and him. Oh, well, he didn't say anything about it to me. Well, he wanted it to be a surprise. He picked this spot right here. He wanted you to be among the first to enjoy eternal rest amidst all that beauty. He was so excited about the benefits package, too. Funeral expenses plus 10,000 cash. He loved you so much. $10,000? Yeah, I'll arrange for you to get a full refund when I get back to the office at the $250 deposit. Oh, but, um, isn't there some way that I could get the benefits? I don't see how. Your husband has already passed on. Well, what if I paid you the money? Oh, ma'am, that would be illegal. Oh, I don't see why. My husband intended to pay you the money. What if he'd already sent it? Now, look, I could pay you the money now in cash. And who's to know when you got it? Uh. Oh, please. The funeral was so expensive. And Eb didn't leave me hardly a pig's whistle. Isn't there some way? How much did he owe you? Another $250. I don't know. I suppose if it were in cash. Oh, I'll get it for you. Because at Restful Hills, we believe that both you and your loved one should be able to rest in peace before as well as after. Oh, it sounds so nice. I do have a lovely brochure that I'd like to... I'm sorry. I don't want Pa to miss this. Pa! Where is that old goat? Pa! Where in turn are you? 
don't hold your horses, Ma. We're out in the middle of digging. Oh, we got company. Mr. Campbell's a salesman, Pa. A salesman, huh? Ain't that nice? <laughs> In the old days, traveling salesmen used to come by all the time. Of course, nowadays, everybody stays home, does their shopping on the TV. I don't know, but to me, it just ain't the same. No. Well, set yourself. Show us what you got. I know what you mean. Buying things long distance, you know, you lose that human connection. Ain't that the truth? And when the product comes... Shut it, Ma. The young man don't give a damn what you think. Let him get down to business. I'll do just that, sir. At Restful Hills Memorial Park. That's some kind of cemetery? We call ourselves a memorial park. What we do is a whole new concept that tries to bring peace to your loved ones both before and after your demise. <laughs> For starters, we found a piece of property north side of town that will just knock your socks off. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it sure is. It looks like the perfect place to spend eternity. When does the beforehand stuff come in? That's, that's very smart, sir. The beforehand part comes with the death benefits package. Now, for a small nominal fee, we pay at the time of demise full funeral expenses plus a death benefit of $10,000 cash. That way, you know your loved ones are going to be taken care of beforehand. How nominal? $500 buys everything for the both of you. $500, that's all? Of course, we do have the extended death benefit of $20,000, and that'll only cost you $750. $750 buys you $20,000? No. You're both covered, so we're talking $40,000. Well, we can't say no to that, can we? We'll do it. Great. I'll drop the paperwork. Of course, we'll have to see it first. See, see what the cemetery plot looks like. We'd like to see a thing work before we buy it. Well, it, um, it looks pretty much like this. Can't buy nothing till we see it first. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to submit your paperwork with the payment, and I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to take you there myself. How does that sound? Sure thing. I expect you let me and Ma to go downstairs and get you some money. You take cash? I prefer cash. It speeds up the process. Well, we won't be but a minute. You want some coffee or something? Yeah. Well, if you've been on the road all day, I expect you could use a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Go on now, Ma. We don't want to keep the young man. <laughs> Come in, Pa. You raise your voice to me, old man, or I'll have your hat. Besides, it wouldn't be polite to kill him until he wakes up. Anyway, I think when Nona should have a look at him first. <laughs> Get off of it. He ain't gonna want her. I'd like her to be the judge of that. Hell, if she do want him, I don't. If this is Nona's only chance at a little happiness, then I want to give it to her. Well, it ain't gonna happen. Because he ain't going to want her. Hey, you. Wake up. Wake up, damn it. Oh, oh. He's up. Please let me go. Why? 
So you can run off to the police, tell them all about us? No, I won't say anything to anybody. I don't care about who those other guys are. Well, they're salesmen like you. Like that guy what sold us the crummy microwave. Didn't work. And the vacuum and the color TV. There wasn't no color TV till I fixed it. <laughs> TV. Really? I won't say anything to anybody. Why would I trust you? You're a salesman. And a salesman ain't nothing but a thief trying to sucker people out of their hard-earned money. Making them buy things they neither want nor need. Now, don't you get too excited, Pa. We ain't doing nothing till Winona sees him first. such a nice name my my mother's name was Winona and she was very beautiful why don't you come on over here where I can see you maybe I don't want you to see me <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all I think you want me to see you very much you know I hardly know you Winona but I can hear your loneliness I know that loneliness it's at my shoulder and it pecks at my heart. Is that how you feel, Winona? You sure do talk, Purdy. Well, let's you and me have a talk then, face to face. Okay. Face to face. Oh, you are so beautiful. The last thing I am is beautiful. What is beauty, anyway? But the Mona Lisa has nothing on you. What is that, um, that perfume you're wearing? Not wearing any. I ain't washed in a couple of weeks. That is so... earthy. I love it. This has never happened to me before. I have fallen head over heels in love with you. You don't love me? No, I do. I do. Just take these off and let me prove it. I don't have the keys. I need me an idea. You gotta let me prove it. If you don't let me prove it to you, I swear I'm gonna go crazy. Do you really think I'm like the moon on Lisa? this room. I hate this whole house. <laughs> now, it's strange how I feel now. Giddy, like a kid. What are you doing? I want to see these love feelings. The kind of love I'm talking about is different. It's, it's deeper. Action's all I believe in. This love talk is very nice, but the body never lies. <laughs> See how much you love me. I swear I love you. Isn't that good enough? You still love me? None of them did what you did. Or like you did. You do love me, don't you? Like you said, the body never lies. The question is, do you love me? Of course I love you. I ain't gonna let my daddy hurt you if that's what you're worried about. I want to marry you. If we got married... You'd get my dowry, and they'd let you go, and we could run away and be happy together. I hate it here. Mom and Pa treat me so mean. Did you say dowry? Yeah. Huh. 
paws but are buried in the basement. It's the money from all those salesmen. It must be forty, fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Yes, let's let's get married. <laughs> get this started. Aren't we going to have a preacher? Paul is a preacher. Do you, Judd Campbell, take my daughter, Winona Brackett, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Winona, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? You bet I do, Paul. Let's have the ring, Ma. We'll place this ring on one of those. Wait a minute, Pa. Ain't you gonna take these handcuffs off? She's right, Pa. If he's willing to marry her, it's the least you can do. Well, I guess. No, I ain't gonna. But Pa, he's a salesman. He can't be trusted. Damn you, Pa. This is the first chance of happiness I got. And you can't come and tell that. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.